Hey guys, welcome to Fighting Spirit Mania. Upper left-hand corner, we got Bonneth starting as the red Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we got DeWalt starting as the white Protoss. Map again is Fighting Spirit. If you guys don't want to see PvP or Bonneth or DeWalt, by the way, and you're like, oh my god, this tournament, which I understand, <coughs> then go ahead and if you get me good games off Seawall, I will cast them. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the spare time or mental resources to like hop through every seawall replay and then look through the good ones and then be able to be like yep that's a good one to be able to cast and then have the spoiler free i don't already know what the game looks like cast uh, out there but if you're like this one and you send me a replay i'll do it uh presuming i don't get flooded with replays but odds are that's probably not going to be the case anyway Oh, I just noticed it's Starcast, bon uh, Starcast Bonneth as well. I didn't realize he was part of the Starcast team. I wonder what that even looks like. CWT, by the way, for DeWalt. Very prestigious clans. I think Starcast does, as a group, uh, I'm trying to think if they compete. I haven't seen them competing in the um, BWCLs as of late. I might try to cast some of those games if I could. Part of the issue is, is like even with this, there's no way I'm going to be able to cast... Potentially, what is it, 49 games? I'm curious. Actually, I should get the raw count of potentially how many games were played in this series. And it'll be like, there were 63 played, but 63 out of... what? Anyway. Looks like we're not going to see that classic two-gate. But keep in mind, Bonneth's got that in his pocket. Where he's like, okay, if I two-gate, I know I can win games. So it could be something that... Bon but the problem is, is you do that enough times, eventually it gets figured out. <clears throat> and I'm wondering if DeWalt's like, okay, yeah, keep doing that, because eventually I will figure it out. Gateway Cybernetic score before Zealot. Uh, yeah, yeah, on Chatland, by the way. Bonneth getting first scout and doing a little bit of annoyance out in the probe land. A probe being pulled off, I believe he got first shot. So enough annoyance that the probe actually, ooh, a little bit frisky here. Defensive pylon going back in. Some base damage on that probe. A zealot is being produced initially. Cybernetics core and pylon back here as well. I have heard players say that you should be cautious about doing this sort of thing against Protoss. If you don't have first scout, because if they do something crazy like a cannon rush, then you've given them a... You can drop a pylon and now you've got cannonable sealed in area, but I'm not sure how viable that really is as a threat with these uh, this level of guys. Probe hanging out midfield isn't going on a scouting pattern just as of yet. Dragoon building as well. Range on top of everything else. And I'm wondering, is this going to turn into... I'm wondering if this was a misstep on DeWalt's part. The time zone difference I don't think is that massive. DeWalt in Russia and Bonneth out in Poland. Range upgrading. Now, I, I'm wondering if that was just a latent mistake. Now the probe's starting to wander out a bit. Or maybe he's so vicious, he's like, I want I want probe blood here. Or probe, what, what is inside of probes? I'm going to say molasses, because that just sounds entertaining. Blue molasses. Yeah, maybe he's just mirroring, because he's like, I want to see this. Or maybe he's trying to, like, zone out to follow the probe home, potentially. Doesn't look like that's the case. Going for a cross-map scout initially. <coughs> we got a Dragoon and a Zealot towards the front. So good scouting advantage to Bonneth overall. Also going to peek up to the, to the 12 o'clock. Now is he going to make his way left? Or is he going to go for very last scout? Wheel of Fortune, or not Wheel of Fortune, the uh, Price is Right. Trumpet sound right there. And other game show sounds of failure. It looks like that probe going to go bottom right. So got in a fist fight. His brain a little bit jostled. He's going to find nothing. And now Bonneth easily going to have the scouting uh, just completely denied information. In the meantime, Gateway Robotics Facility behind this. Three Dragoons and a Zealot on the front. Not anything Bonneth can press. Right the second, he is going to be a Dragoon up, however. Dewalt somehow two workers up. Maybe because he was able to keep those workers inside of his base for such a long period of time. And Bonneth getting aggressive. Again, he loves doing this. He loves being aggressive with initial plays and trying to get bonus out of that. The, the worker going to the 12 o'clock, finding no, finding a pylon, but no base right there. 
This is going to be four Dragoons out of territory. DeWalt now walking down to the low ground. Ooh, a little bit... Coming into the fight a little bit late. And not focus firing the Dragoon. Actually a misfire right there. But the Zealot getting a lot of damage on one of the four Dragoons. So, and DeWalt's Dragoons really walking around not getting a lot accomplished there. So we got two damage units on the low ground. Maybe going to wait for the next round before he pushes things out. But Bonneth at least able to verify that there's no natural expansion. The, war the probe going to cycle around. I don't think it's going to get past these Dragoons. Nice play from Bonneth to go ahead to have the heads up to de deny that scouting information continually. <coughs> so he still doesn't have confirmation of whether a Nexus was plopped down behind this or not. Looks like it's Two Gate Robo Observatory versus Observatory Robotic Support Bay. So Bonneth, in theory, <coughs> could get that natural expansion up a little bit earlier. Sorry about the cough, still recovering from a bit of a cold post vacation. But the observer from DeWalt gonna be able to finally make its way in, confirm no natural expansion, and that there is in fact a shuttle, a pylon, and let's see if, how long this survives. Able to wander up and see basically mirrored tech, mirrored tech on the opposite side. DeWalt up a bit of an army here. After the scuffles somehow. Not much, though. Like a few seconds of an army being clicked, and otherwise it's dead even. Observer picked out. Missed that. The Observer getting hunted down and picked off. Now DeWalt moving out with his troops towards the forward field. The Observer, let's see if DeWalt's able to skirt around the Observer. It looks like not. The Observer sees the corner. Bonneth responding. He uses Zealot up in that field. Now going to go ahead and pull back. And interestingly enough, Bonneth a little bit wary with that observer. So initially, kind of wanting to, to mirror that army, but now, and that, and interestingly enough, those maneuvers might have delayed a little bit of info to Bonneth. Because it wasn't just a beeline to the bottom left. Bonneth now going ahead and grabbing his, but he's, that Nexus is going to be actually a lot earlier than DeWalt's. <coughs> But two Reavers now on the low ground, they do not have a shuttle to provide support. Where it is a shuttle with a Reaver making their way. A nice fan out of Dragoons, though. <coughs> so this is much more defendable for DeWalt. But if Bonnet just does amazing things with that shuttle, might end up with an advantage. That Reaver now stranded, pulling him back over the bridge. And able to get a lot of bonus damage. So, ooh, the shuttle's down now. But is DeWalt going to press this? Because a lot of hits happen on those Dragoons. Which is actually putting Bonneth up two Dragoons. Now they're going to go back and go after that Observer. The Dragoon, the Reavers need to be a little bit careful, though. Because, yeah, you can see Bonneth looking to go for Reaver sniping. In response to this, the Zealot in the initial fire... But a lot of Dragoons getting wiped out underneath this, but it looks like that reverse count is going to get reset, but that might have been an, a potential overstep for Bonneth, because now you've got a full concentration of Dragoons out on the field making their way to the natural, and it's going to be a single... So it's going to be two Reaver... or Sorry, one Reaver and two Dragoons at the natural. This Reaver going to create a bit of delay and actually evening things up. Bonneth all of a sudden with a surge worker count behind this. His natural expansion... Coming, so the slight edge to him overall. Shuttle is out but empty. <coughs> that puts Bonneth up a reaver. And I... But I don't think it's... Well, actually, two of these Dragoons are highly weakened. So they would count in a fight, but that's one reaver shot away. So I'm going to call this a two Dragoon advantage for DeWalt. Right this second, as far as what's out there, but he's down economically. In the meantime, two additional gateways being tacked on. It looks like the fourth gateway coming up for DeWalt as well. He's got his Reaver in a shuttle behind this. An Observer scooting forward. No Observer out. Or never mind, there is an Observer out for DeWalt. I'm wondering if Bonneth is good enough where he can see the Shimmer and keep track of where that Observer is. It's going to go ahead and file back. Bonneth dropping a defensive pylon to see... So he's already got one at the 12 o'clock location, but he's also dropping one at the 9 o'clock, and the Dragoon's immediately responding. Saw the edge of that worker, and gonna go ahead and push up to try to deny that info. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So see if that forces a cancellation. A single Dragoon holding the ramp. So it canceled last second. That's a bit of a resource cost, but was that worth losing a Dragoon for DeWalt? I don't think it was. So it ends up ahead overall, I would say, in that exchange. The worker's still out on the map for Bonneth, just making sure no additional bases have been grabbed anywhere out. Supply counts are even, but the worker count in Bonneth's favor, which means DeWalt does have a larger army right this second. Bonneth a little bit scattered out on the map, and ooh, might pay for it. Let's see, he's got a smaller Dragoon force. And taking some shots, he's trying to lead the troops back to these Dragoon, or sorry, to the Reavers. The Reavers able to get some amazing shots off here initially. One shot, I believe, lands. Never mind, they were, they were scooped up before anything happened. So now Bonneth going for the counter shot. The shuttle's gone, however. So it's two Reavers, no shuttle, versus one Reaver in five Dragoons. It's actually straight even, and DeWalt now folding back to a closer reinforcement point. Able to get another snipe shot. And again, worker... Uh, Army is just getting completely exchanged. Nice spread there from DeWalt. And a highly damaged Dragoon going to go ahead and exit. The Observer getting picked off in kind. <clears throat> now all of a sudden DeWalt down 11 supply. A large portion of that in workers. And that surge in workers also gives an indication that Bonneth is planning on grabbing a third base in short order. I believe this worker is making its way to the 12 o'clock to do exactly that. Defensive pylon here at the 6 o'clock. To see if DeWalt was going to try to sneak additional anything. And also if there are any shenanigans of trying to move some troops out, that would get spotted. This is also kind of, it's, especially at a, at a defensive disadvantage, usually you don't want to expand into your opponent. So nice pylon location. The Observer getting able to see the natural, but trying to sneak out. I think it might have seen how many workers were here, which might give an indication to DeWalt that a third is in fact on the way. He can't do a lot about it, though, and Bonneth making his way out with only a single Reaver in that shuttle. This Reaver going to slow walk. It's going to be two Reavers, actually, with no shuttle protection. And Bonneth is incredible with his Reaver shuttle micro. And this is what he does. He expands and still is going to peck away at this and might get an initial free shot. Yeah. So a bit of an engagement. You can see the dedication. So the shuttle down, the Reaver is now going to be exposed. This Reaver... Trying to push in and get the shots it can. The Reaver's down on both ends. So Bonneth exchanges troops once again. Actually ends up with a smaller army, but because he was forcing that engagement and keeping DeWalt's army small, it's keeping him honest and backed away from that third. So now let's see if DeWalt responds. Looks like he's already working on Zealot leg speed here. And plus one weapons. Let's see if he responds with just going for an overwhelming army to try to swat the natural expansion, or if he does in fact go for... A potential risky expansion at the nine o'clock into his opponent to try to play economic catch up. He is moving a worker up to this location and dropping a pylon and holding position, so he might in fact do that. <coughs> in the meantime, 12 o'clock base is up. Workers already settled to go ahead and transfer there. Do we have the infrastructure behind to capitalize on this? Is the next question. So we got six gateways. Versus what looks like eight. Am I counting that right? Four, seven? No, seven. So four, four versus seven right this second. Production advantage briefly to DeWalt. But again, that doesn't put him in a good position to grab anything extra. So he needs to punch through with this. And this is as plus one weapons is just about to finish. So the Zelts moving forward. They're going to split that army. The Reavers still have not gotten involved with these shots in this army is coming in a, a bit piecemeal, which is allowing Bonneth to get a lot of bonus shots. The Zealot's chasing back that Reaver. The Dragoon's still there to the north, so it's a bit of a split army. The Reaver's taking shots to the left. The Zealot's occupying those Dragoons to the north, but now DeWalt's army has thinned, exposing that those Reavers outside the natural, and DeWalt trying to scoop it up. He might be able to retreat with that shuttle, but he's not going to be able to retreat with a lot else. And now he's dropped down 20 supply, lost the shuttle, is going to lose the Reaver, and there's GG. So Bonneth now up 2-1 early in the series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.